it's Jessie. Welcome back to the pod. We're here. Kaylee's just rubbing this pillow. It's She's like, so soft. It's like this <laughs> her foot's on the rug, her hands on the pillow. Um, and thank you if you're watching this on YouTube. We're now officially oh, on yeah, YouTube. Sure. So I just like, oh, there's a camera here. Um, so you can listen on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or watch on YouTube on my YouTube channel. It's Jesse Jay Z Styles. Um, today is a very special episode because we have my two sisters in the house. Um, okay, so do you guys want to introduce yourselves before we get started? Yes. So I'm Kira, or known as Cora, just yes. kind of depending when you met me in my lifetime. <laughs> pre eighth grade. Um, yeah, pre eighth grade or post eighth grade. Shout out Connor. Um, and I am, you know he'll listen to this. Oh too. no! Like he actually will be very upset if I don't mention that. Um, and I am head of operations. Yeah, the hell of the company. The the oh, the hoe. I am Bailey. I am the youngest of the fam, and I'm also a head of operations. We kind of tag team. These hoes tag team. We're the, we're the hoes. That's the way to do it. I love it. So we have been getting a request to have you guys on for so long. I can't believe you guys have never been on. Never. I know. Never. Yeah, we're that's, just too busy. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. We tried to do this so yeah. many times. We've rescheduled so many times. So many times. You guys have too much to do. I yeah. It's crazy that we're doing it now too because we're all so busy right now. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the worst time. time. But how does this happen? Yeah. yeah. We just had to pick a date yeah. and stick with it. Yeah. And luckily it works for you too because it's on a Tuesday. Usually you're here on Tuesdays, but. This worked out great. So we've been getting requested for you guys to be on the podcast for so long. And I think because people see you online on you know social media and they know we all work together as a family and they're very interested in that dynamic. So I'm excited to have you guys on and just kind of show like a little more behind the scenes on you know the girls of Jay-Z. So um, as always, we're going to start with highlights and lowlights. Here's our highlights and lowlights of the week. Okay, um, I guess we'll go first. You guys can kind of like see how we do this. And then we'll have you guys go. Um, do you want to start? Have you thought about it? <laughs> I, sw- I had one before we started and now I've gone blank. Oh, oh shit. Um, my low light is that my child's not sleeping still. Oh my gosh. This has been a long regression. Yeah. Like what is going on? It's been on? like two weeks, two and a half, almost three, I think. She I'm woke gonna... you up at what time this morning? She woke me up at four. Oh, and then I was laying in my bed scrolling on TikTok and then Jesse texted me. I texted her at 45 and was like, I'm so sorry that I'm texting you this early. And I was like, well. And you responded. So, I was like, whoa. So lucky you. Honestly, if I text a mom that early, it's like a 50-50 yeah. they'll be up. So it's like fine. And then my highlight is my contacts finally got in. So I get to go pick those up and not wear my glasses anymore. I like your glasses though. I know I like them, but I'm starting to get like a blister on the ridge of my nose and like behind my ears from wearing them so much. So. I guess I've never thought of that. Yeah. I feel like for today, being the first day of school though, like you looked very like oh. professional and studious. I was like, I have to get them in before the Arizona class because I'm not wearing my glasses no. during class. No. Does well, that for pictures. Okay, is there a difference when you look through your glasses and when you look through your contacts? Like, yeah. Is it clearer than glasses? Yeah, I definitely like towards the end of the day, my eyes get super tired from my contacts. Oh. So I, I like can't wear them for like probably longer than like 12 hours. And then... Can you sleep in them? No. Oh. So let's say you have there are. I think there are some that you can sleep in, but oh. mine are bi-weeklies and I just take them out. Okay. And a contact solution. And so I didn't start wearing contacts until a year ago. Oh, really? My eyes what got... What did you do? Well, when I was 18, that's when I got glasses for the first time, but it was more like looking at screens and like I was... I was nearsighted, so yeah. stuff from far away, and driving at night, I have an astigmatism. Oh. But then after I had Stevie, my eyes got worse and worse. And another so reason not to have children. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> thank you. I like, we did not need another reason, yes. but thank you. Okay. Um, so it just got worse. So someone breaks into your house in the middle of the night, you can't see. Um, I can see for the most part, but it's like, it's very, um, like if I took them out right now, like I could see you guys, but like, I can't see like the camera screen at all. And like, I can't read very well. And it's just like blurry. So I really have to squint and it gives me a headache. You didn't mention this in your job interview. (laughs) I should have known this, Kaylee. Well, I can't read. I can't read. (laughs) I didn't have a bad (laughs) pad. Like it's gotten worse than age. Yeah. No, literally. Because the child child just rocks your world but dang I'm sorry but that's good that's exciting do you but, have to go get him after this yeah they texted me today saying that you were in so I'll oh good oh there it goes again if you guys hear this in the background we're just getting power through probably unless it goes on for a while but we're currently in the process of remodeling our whole like photo studio warehouse we have my office almost done every time you guys see a youtube video it'll probably be like more and more done oh yeah because yes these, these are up now aren't they cute and the lamps are in so I love 
I guess you guys can't really see it. Oh, yeah. Blood the blood top of we the, need to do the medallion. It's the medallion. It's so cute. cute. Did you see them all out in the studio, too? Oh, these no, are all out there. Yeah. Oh, we need to do, that. my plan is once the salon is like 100% done and that's done and everything, I'm going to do a whole like YouTube yeah. and TikTok studio or like salon tour. So stay tuned. Kira, did you pick up that mirror? Yes. Too? I love it. Kira designed mirrors. this whole office. Like, this it. is her it's my favorite. vibe. I, I told her that when we first were recording here, like it's like color daddy vibes. Like, yeah. No. Yes. No, but no, like she designed is. the office at the school. I need to read Literally. It. Literally, yeah, that's how oh, come over. Yeah. She'll, she'll come do yeah. it. Perfect. She, her name is Taylor Swift. She. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. I've already got like, I know like the back of my hand. I've already got some prints and stuff, but I need like just like a revamp. Yeah. You know? it, it, it's going to be really cute. I'm excited yeah. to see it. But. Um, okay. So I'll go. You, you did both years. Yeah. Right? Okay. So my low light of the week is something I didn't really want to address, but I feel like I'm going to just to like get it out of the way and then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But the reason I was texting Kaylee, <laughs> I don't think Kaylee even knew I was going to talk about this, but I, I was kind of shocked. texting Kaylee at 4 a.m. because I discovered, so I, I couldn't sleep this morning for some reason. Like I woke up at four and I couldn't sleep. So I was like, I'm just going to work out because we had the first day of school today. And I was like, I'm just going to work out and then I'll go to school because I have to be there early anyway. So I got up, I started working out and then like halfway through my workout, I take like a break. So I was just like scrolling. And I saw something upsetting and I was like, oh, a podcast was done about me. That's great. So I watched it and then I was just like texting Kaylee about it. And um, basically just like a, I had a big friendship falling out a couple years ago and most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, and it was a really hard ordeal for all of us. I mean, you guys were all, you were there. Not me. Beginning. I'm agreeing. Kind of no, but, but, but it's just yeah, you were there from the beginning, basically. I, yeah, I mean, I know you guys around, really were. But. So all of you kind of know, and it was hard on all of us. And um, I did talk about it a little bit. And then, you know, I just, it, it caused way too much drama. And I, it, it's so removed now that I'm glad it's settled. But earlier, last year, almost a year ago, me and this person ended up having a conversation face to face. And we buried the hatchet, I thought. And there was a lot of closure. And it was a really good conversation. And it needed to happen. And I felt really good after that. I felt like water under the bridge, we can move on. And after that conversation, there were a few times we hung out, we had texted, and things have been fine. And I think anyone over the last year who's talked to me about that situation knows that I've been very complimentary of this person and not said anything negative because in my eyes, we closed that chapter and now I just wish them the best. But this podcast was done and it was kind of a rehash of all of the drama that had happened two years ago. And a lot of negative things were said, a lot of lies were told, and I don't think it painted the picture accurately and of course my first reaction was to react but I was talking to Kira earlier today about how one of my goals for the new year is to respond not react and actually take time to think about how I want to handle things and how I want my kids to handle things like I just think I am now setting an example for them as they get older and um, so of course I'm like you know I'll talk to my close friends and family about it in maybe a reactive way but which you deserve to yeah like you yeah. vent you yeah. know that's actually a new segment we have coming up a venting session so you know, but, but publicly I'm like, it doesn't serve me or this other person to respond because I already did that. I already have hashed the story out. And to me, I thought it was water into the bridge and I truly in my heart have moved on, apologized for what I did wrong, accepted, apolo accepted the apology for what this person did wrong. And I thought we were good and over it. And apparently that's not the case. And honestly, I'm just sad. Like I, I could be angry. I could be upset. I could be hurt. And of course, those are my initial reactions, but at the end of the day, I'm just really sad that this person hasn't found closure to be able to move on the way that they told me they had and that I thought had happened. So I think I just wanted to like address it in case anyone saw it, and if you didn't, then that's great too. Um, and just kind of just like express my sadness that this is still going on in this person's life and that they haven't let it go because I have, and I truly wish them the best. I really do. And... Um, I'm just sad. I'm, I'm just sad. Like I, there's I thought that we had all kind of moved past it and it was again, water under the bridge, but yeah, it's just sad that it's not. But, and I think what I've realized, like with my whole chandelier moment and things that like people like that, or people who you maybe have issues with, like it, it usually just circles back around and it's usually when, you know, something big's coming your way or you have something exciting happening in your life or you're just, maybe you're on a good path and things are going well. It's like life always chooses that time to like throw something at you. And I've kind of dealt with that in my past. So I'm like used to it, but 
I just have kind of like realized that I've done a lot of inner work on myself and a lot of therapy since the last two years ago and I wouldn't have handled it this way two years ago and I'm really proud of myself for how I'm doing right now because even though I'm talking about it I'm sad and I'm like oh this sucks I'm not reacting the way I would have and I think that says a lot about how far I've come and where I'm at personally and I'm in a really happy place and I have so I have such a rich life like I not like money wise but like I have such a full fulfilling life with the people around that's what I was going to say is that I feel like in these situations like even myself like if there's a negative thing going on like you reflect on like you like always have your family to fall Mm -hmm. back on and like especially with you guys having a family business it's such a strong knit for you guys that like this stuff is going to happen but you have such an amazing husband and sisters and parents and mm-hmm. like you have Jagger and Jovi and Peyton like yeah. you have just so many more positive things in your life that like yeah this sucks it's, it's aggravating but like there's just so many better things to focus on I agree and also just that happens even like I also like don't have time to like think yeah. about stuff like this like we had the first day of school today and mm-hmm. we you know like we have so like all the stuff here in the business like I just have so much going on that these things don't matter and what really matters is the relationships in your life and I'm just re- very grateful because um, two years ago I felt like I did lose a lot of people with what happened and life has a funny way of like coming full circle because the people that I did lose two years ago are back in my life now and yeah. it's better than ever. Yeah, I mean when you break it down, there wasn't a lot. Yeah. Like the, I mean it was a sucky situation and you went through a lot but at the end of the day, like I, everybody that you needed in your life stuck by you. Yeah, hundred percent. Or came back. Yeah. And and I think also our salons in such a good place. We have such a strong team right now. People that have been with us for years and know me, know my heart, know us as a family. And at the school, we have a great team. Like I just have so many good things, and I refuse to let, you know, the opinion of one or maybe multiple people ruin that. Because look at what we've built. Like it's freaking cool, and we're gonna get into that in this episode. So, anyway, I wanted to touch on it. That was my low light. And it's kind of ruined my day, but I'm going to be fine tomorrow. So no big deal. Um, my highlight, I would say, is that the first day of school was today. We had 10 new students start at the academy. It's our fourth starting date, which is super exciting because, like, I don't know. Every time we do a first day of school, it's like yeah. butterflies. I love it. I'm like, I'm trying to, so I think, oh, gosh, I'd have to add it all up. But I think it's been, like, 60 students almost that have come through the door. That's insane. Yeah. And some That's of them are licensed now. Right. Like, mm-hmm. it's really cool. And every time we get to talk to the new girls and, like, see like their goals and why they came to Jay-Z and like what they're looking for like we really are helping change lives and I think it's really cool that we're giving them these careers that like can help them so much and they all chose Jay-Z because of what we offer and I'm just so proud of that so and it's so it like because in the contract like I go over like different career paths that you can do with this and I remember when I was in school and they came and talked to us about like these are different career paths that you can do with this you know, license and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm just going to be a stay at home. Like <laughs> I will never care person. Like I'm not going to, I'm just going to do it in my basement. And I told them today, I'm like, you'd be surprised at how many different outlets you can go. I told them, I don't know if you were in the room, but I said, Keely has done every job at Jay-Z. She's worked in the warehouse. She's my assistant, a stylist, an educator, and our director. So it's really cool what you can do with one license. Yeah. It is awesome. So yeah. So congrats to the 10 students that started today. I'm really proud of you guys. All right, Kira, Bailey, do you want to go, Bailey, since you've sure. got the mic? Um, okay. Um, you do peak first? or peak? Um, So it's low light and high. Low light and high. Yes. We only... It's okay. The verbiage. No, honestly, we changed it last episode. <laughs> 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 okay. We just figured highlight and low light was more hair related, so it's kind of cute. Oh, so okay. I was cute. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay. Yeah. So um, um, you do your low light first okay. and then end on a high note. Oh, wow. Week is it? There's so much that's been going on. I can't even. It's, it's only the second week of January. Yeah. I feel like it's been a year already. It's been really long. Um, ooh, I did fall down the stairs. Oh, of your knee? Yeah. I, yeah. I have the, I showed her the other day, I have the biggest bruise on my ass. What? So you're going to send a picture to Jessie no, so that she can picture put it on Yes, now. please. I will show you. So I have a tattoo on my butt. Yeah. <laughs> you do? And more. Yeah, I have two tattoos on my butt. Yeah. I am just, okay. You're just sharing it all the time. Um, so. <laughs> <gasps> really? Oh my god! Shut up! Is it that horrible? Was it a hard fall? Or it was a hard fall. Kind of... So I just moved into a new <sighs> house. So I was carrying a big bin and it was pretty heavy. And I was going downstairs, and my <laughs> stairs are <laughs> bad. They have it, it has carpet. Yeah. So I was going down. My calf 
runs oh, in between oh, my legs, oh, trips me. Me. So I just go down, and then the bin went down right oh, on no. me. So I, and I just laid on my stairs for like five minutes. Like I just broke my ass. You guys. Yeah. Like I literally like, thought I broke oof. something. I put it on. No. <gasps> so I was just sitting there, and then all my dogs come around me. Yeah. Look at my face. I'm like, this is it. This is how I go, guys. Was it your tailbone? No, was luckily it, the, it was like right on your butt. Cheek. Yeah, it's like right. Yeah, yeah it's on my butt. I haven't either. It's almost like does it hurt? It hurts so bad. Mm -hmm. And when Casey gave me a spray tan, she oh. was like, "She's like, what happened?" <laughs> that was like my first concern. That she's like, yeah. Yeah. when I talk, yeah. she's like, "Are you okay?" Because like, like please bruise, you're safe. Yeah, and we so, so easily. So yeah. every time Casey is it. so used to us just having bruises everywhere. Yeah. But this was but like, this one is like next level. I have never seen a bruise that bad. <laughs> I'm sh I'm st like, I am shocked. No, it's bad. How did that happen? This week. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Or last week. It's Monday. It's last week. Sometime. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, does it still look that dark yeah. or has it gotten better? I took that picture last week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. For both sides, she's got blood, blood loss. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Blood you literally there. can't see half of my tattoo anymore. It, it is. Covered the it covered. is your tattoo. <laughs> so my husband gave it to me. Oh. And it's not honey. Oh, cute. <laughs> so yeah. And then you have a star, right? Or like I have a big star on my next yeah. cheek. On your other cheek. I love that. Don't be stupid in 16 and get a stick and poke. No, literally. It's okay, though. It's fine. It's, it's an experience I have. <laughs> yeah, tattoo removal hurts, so yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to take that advice. <laughs> okay, so what's your highlight? Yeah. 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 I know. No, no one sees it. it. Casey and my husband see it. Yeah, that's about yeah. that. <laughs> and now everyone on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. <laughs> um, and then my highlight, uh, oh, two of my best friends came in and stayed with us for like three days. So oh, I just, are, they, are they gone already? Yeah, they're only oh, here for three days. They left Saturday morning. So mom was doing one of their hair. Aspen, yeah. Oh yeah, Dye saw her. Yeah. Um, Bailey bought a house, so they got to see oh, you in your new house. house. That's so exciting. I did. So cool. So it's like five minutes from the salon. It's oh, amazing. literally, I can leave. So we get to work at like ten. I can leave my house at nine fifty-eight. That's insane. And be here by ten. I'm like, this is great. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. How long's your commute? Like Thirty minutes. <laughs> no, I would never. I hate it. That's I hate it. All right, right. Here, that's our next project. We gotta work on. For real. Okay, we're gonna be down the street next. That's exciting. Like, you got to be a house. Like host for the I know, show. but I felt so like it's like I'm also going under a little bit of construction in my yeah. house because we knocked down a wall already, and so I'm like, is it, it a new build or no. it's an old? It's, it's it was not built an old in '52. Oh, it's an old house. Yeah, yeah. but they but they, re they, they remodeled in 2020, oh, okay. and then I'm coming in, and I just had a couple walls that I wanted down. Yeah, so it's more like open concept. We're gonna do the floors and everything. But it was really nice because they had their own like guest room, guest bathroom. They never had that when they visited me before, yeah. so it was really cool. And yeah. they um, had a massive backyard and like a hot yeah, tub. It's awesome. awesome. Yeah, we have a hot tub, so yeah. we'll have to have a hot tub night. That's so. so fun. My goal is to convert everyone into Plymouth Grove. We're all there honestly, now. it's the best place. Mom and Dad just need to come. I know. Now. Like, how are we gonna convince them? They are so that far out there, there too. Yeah. Like they're yeah. like tucked back in. It's there. They are. It's like it's a just 20 minute drive, like yeah. almost 30 minutes. Like, and especially traffic at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Like, it probably takes them a half hour. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll wait to tell Michelle, you can ride your electric bike to work if you move closer. You can walk to work. <laughs> yeah. He I feel it. like the only person that could convince him is Jordan. He would yeah. hate to be that debt, though. I know. Oh, Jordan's been trying for years. I know, me. but I feel like he could crack. He, he could. He's the one. Because we don't just have to buy him a house and be like, "Gay, yeah, you owe me this." Like you're. Here. <laughs> I just did it. Well, he's told mom. He's like, "If you want to move, go buy it yourself." And so it's like, just <laughs> mom, just go buy it. It's <laughs> creating a wedge in their marriage. She's like, "Go buy a house." <gasps> I'm so dead. Funny. One day. It's fine. It's fine. He's yeah. already there. Um, there's a thing being built, I don't even know what it is in my back. Like shed. Yeah, and he came over and he was like, yeah, yeah. to Cody, called the city. He called the city. So the the city the, called the city. The, the, the neighbors behind her are building this big shed and it kind of blocks her view and he's like, that's not legal. Wow. It's not up to code because the city was like, yeah, yeah. No, we're going to shut it down. And, and there's like, yeah, they're working on it. If there's yeah, so anybody that would do it, it's Jordan. It's it is. Yeah, honestly. If you need something done, just have Jordan. He already walked through your house like, told you things need to change. Yeah. I was like, how did he knock down two walls, dude? Yeah. Like, I think I'm okay for a second. Yeah. Focus on your House. Yeah. Gosh. For real. Yeah. No, for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> don't don't do my house my house do. sister. It's just because he doesn't have a job right now. He's just like, he's just, just oh, wait, wait. He's so bored. He doesn't have a job. Well, I mean, he does. <laughs> <has laughs> <a> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, he's not working in that call center anymore. I knew that. Was I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how long did that? I didn't like, hear about it. Literally after his first day. a day of 9 to 5. I, knew I don't it. think he's been in 9 to 5 since I the first day. Knew it. I know, me too. I know, like, his second day work, he was here at like noon. I was like, yeah, you have a job. Well, he's just like, I can just go whenever. Last week, you guys came walking in, and then today, as I was pulling in, he was pulling out, and I said, don't you have a job to be at? I'm calling your boss. Yeah, I know. I knew that when it last. I know. He's not a 9 to 5. Guy. He's not. He's not. He I laugh like he's the most funny in the world. Like he just he gets ham. No. Like he, he's that type that God bless him. Does he have ADD? Hundred percent. Yes. yes. And I yes. And he doesn't take his meds, and he needs um, to. He is one person that I'm like, you need to take these because I can't have a conversation with him. He yeah. cannot focus. Like it's so hard. So when he does take them, I notice a big difference. He, he doesn't like to take them. So I'm like, I can't imagine I get him that. Them. No, you know. Yeah, he's very, he, he's just more focused. He's yeah. so Jordan, but like, yeah. he's more focused for sure. But yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, Carrie, you want to go? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I've been so quiet. I feel like I don't want to talk about like, the mic. Well, you don't have a mic. Yeah, so I'm like, and they're the sharing. I don't know if they can hear me. Um, so wait, you start with the low. The low. Okay. I just want to start off saying I am so proud of you. Aww. For your low, as shitty as it is, I can see the growth you've had in the past two years and how you handled this was so beautifully. And just the fact that, like, the only emotion you're truly feeling is just, like, sadness. Like, it just, it didn't need to happen. It's unfortunate. It doesn't make sense. But, like, the way you handled it was, it just speaks volumes of what you've been through the past two years. And as shitty as it was, I feel like it needed to happen because look at you now. And I feel like there's things that are going on in your life that just, like, it would not happen if that had happened. Yeah. So I'm just really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. So nice. And um, Kira saying that means a lot because I feel like you are like a spiritual guru. Like, no, no. <laughs> I know you don't feel that way, but I feel like you have so much wisdom. And obviously you still have hard times, but I always look up to you and how you handle things. So no. that's well, I'm going through a lot right now. So yeah. that means a lot. Thank you. But how you handle it is great. So <laughs> no, I, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, well, my low is I'm actually staying at Jessica's house right now. So thank you again for that. I owe her my world, my job, my <laughs> career and everything. And I just haven't got to see my dogs a lot. So that's been like really, really hard for me. And if you know Kira, <laughs> like yeah. those are her children. No, yes. they breathe, I breathe. And yeah. you're a better mom than probably both of us. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just like, I, they are literally like, I birthed them. Like I'm like, those are my actual babies. And so like, I'm, I'm proud of myself that I have been able to go this long. Cause I actually never thought I'd be able to do that, but it's, it's been really hard. So that's like the only thing that's like really you know, it's yeah. been hard. I'm proud of you. Like, if you know Kira, she is a tough yeah. cookie and she's really strong and resilient, but when she lets you in, she has, no. I would say you're like a hard candy on the outside and gushy on the inside. And yeah. you have handled your situation very, very I've been very gushy the past two months. You have. It's been great. You and Jordan have bonded a lot. <laughs> yeah, me and Jordan are probably like closer than ever. We're yeah. like seeing it till midnight, just like talking, and I'm like, I don't think we've ever been able to talk like that. Just no. Well, we're so busy. Yeah, yeah, we're so busy. So I'm actually grateful because I do feel like we're a lot closer now. Like our entire family, like you and me, yeah. me and Jordan. I'm trying to get her a Me and Beckham for sure. Like, my dog is solid. in love with Kira. We're like, yeah. well, she moves out. He's going to struggle. I'm like, actually really her door. concerned. I open my door. He's laying on you like, oh. I will say, though, like, with everything that's going on, Jess did say she was like, I feel like this has been, like, a wake-up call for our family to, like, get yes. our family first in our relationship. Yeah. And 100%. So like, like, relationships that. are all that matters. It yeah. really is. Nothing else matters besides the people in your life. And whether they work out or they don't work out, I mean, just cherish the time you have with them because you just can't find the future. Yeah. You don't know what tomorrow brings. So, yeah, I opened my door this morning at like 5 a.m. to go to the bathroom and Bentley was there. <laughs> Bentley? Yes! Yeah. It's so nice. Aww. Aww. It's really cute. It's like, hi, I heard yeah. you. It's like, hi, Bentley. Um, but my, what was a highlight? Yeah. My highlight was we celebrated my friend Olivia's birthday over the weekend, and we actually had a slumber party. That's so cute. Yeah, it was so fun. Like we, Did we, you we, love we had a <laughs> it was so sexy. Um, but it's just like when you're 28, like you don't you really do have sleepovers with so your friends fun. anymore. No. And like my friend Sadie, who's like my best, is my best friend. Yeah. But like in high school, we used to have sleepovers all the time. So it's just like. It was so, yeah, like, we were, like, this is, like, the funnest thing we've ever done. Like, we're literally just sitting there talking, and, like, we didn't do anything. Like, we had activities, but we didn't do one activity. But it was so fun. Because you just sat there and just We just sat there and talked, and it was just, like, real. Like, it wasn't about anything else. It was just, like, we all go, like, have our moment, and, like, the good highlights and our lowlights, right? But it was was really fun. Shout out to my friends. Five. Yeah, there, was there, is no, there is nothing like just a good girl game, like a strong yes. friendship oh. of women who are like empowering. I am so fortunate. It's not even funny. You have great friends. Yeah, yeah. shout out to you 
That cake was awesome. Yeah. It was so cute. Like the cutest the cake ever. Like, yeah. I, I think it's I love Instagram it. cake by Sav's. I want to okay. say I'll you already. Yeah. 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 Literally, this is the cutest cake I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll put a picture of it. We didn't want to eat it. We were like, really? do we eat this so or do we just like, can we freeze this? Can yeah. we frame it? Did like, you finish it? We didn't finish it. Oh, we didn't finish it. But it was not only so cute, but yeah. it was really good as well. So I think if I ever get married again, I will yeah. do that. Like the heart cake is the cutest thing ever. I just want to my bill when I do like the cookies for the parties. I'm like, this is too cute to eat. I know. Like, like they're yeah, so aesthetically like, cute. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, I love that. Well, you yeah. know, you guys are all such good friends. It was cute because you guys like tricked her, right? Yeah. So we surprised her and we thought we were in the surprise completely. We're sitting in the driveway and we thought we were going to meet her house at 5 p.m., but it was actually supposed to be 5 30. So we're in the driveway and we're being so loud. Okay. <laughs> like, Trunks open, our pals are blankets on the ground. It's so cold, so we're like, it's crazy, yeah. you know. We go up to the front door, and I just fully try to walk in. No. <laughs> and it's locked, and I'm like, tell him to unlock the door. Yeah. It's like, call Laurel. And we're like, just, they have a ring cam, too. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, the door is locked. Like, how do we get in? And I was like, why are you there? <gasps> and I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, it's 5.30. No! So we three. create a board mission, get into my car, shove everything This was you and who? Me, Sierra, and Sadie. Okay. We're being so loud. We see her at, in her window in her no. bedroom, and I'm like, we're convinced. We're like, we made eye contact. Like yeah. to this day, I'm like, we made eye contact. She knows. Yeah. So we thought we ruined the whole thing. When we surprised her, she was bawling her eyes. That was the oh. cutest thing was ever. Was that the video you posted when she walked through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she she said she's like, I literally had no idea. I oh, promise. Yeah. So we thought we ruined it, but it, her reaction was adorable. I Love yeah, that. like making someone cry in a good way is like, oh, it's amazing. like what you live for. And the whole thing you felt sick. sick. You're like, she thought we forgot her birthday. Oh, I was sick to my stomach. I hate surprises Me too. because I'm like, she probably feels like we don't care. We forgot her birthday, and so like I was just like counting down the hours. So like her reaction was just like, it made it all worth it. I love that. Yeah, she's such a good friend. Um, amazing. Okay, well, those are good highlights and lowlights. And now almost thirty minutes into the episode, we'll get started. Uh, but that's how you know it's gonna be a good episode. So. I wanted to bring you guys on because we get this requested a lot, like I said, and people are just very curious about our family dynamic, how we do business together. Anytime I tell someone I work with my sisters, they're like, I would kill my sister. How do you do yeah. that? And I feel like we're very blessed and we have a very unique dynamic because it doesn't work for everyone. So I thought each of you could just start by like talking about how you started with the company, how it's evolved, where you're at now in your role, and then we have a Q&A of people that submitted questions, and then we can go over those as well. So whichever I, one of you wants to start. I just have to say from the outside of the family, I've never seen family work so well together. Really? Like you guys, I cannot, I mean, I don't have sisters, but I could not, my brothers, I could not oh. imagine working with. <laughs> I'm There's sure good brothers no would way. But like, I mean, Obviously, you guys have like your share of moments. Oh, for but sure. Yeah. You guys never let it show, like okay. ever. Okay. So I feel like we have like moments. We're like crying. Yeah. And everybody's probably well, be like, "Who the hell?" Are oh, we me and mom have gotten into like fights in oh, the break yeah. room. Like it happens. I've never that. witnessed oh, it. Oh, good. But like Jess will be like, "Yeah, we were screaming at each other," and I'm like, "I just can't picture it." No. But, but it's very rare, and also like you move on the next second. Yeah. Like, it's just family. It's family. Like it's just how it is. Yeah. So, um, so Bailey, if you want to start with just how you started with us and then where you're at now. Oh, wow. That was so long ago. I was 18. You were 18? Yeah, I was 18. I forget you. Yeah. Wow. I was 18 when I first started in the very first salon. Yeah. And then it was just Kira and I, we were like the receptionist cleaning the salon and like all that. Even before we started like the hair wet, like it was like right before we started it yes. and launched everything. So we just like went around and cleaned and we were like trouble like, cleaning our house. And I lived with you and your ex Yes. Husband. You guys have both lived with me now. Yeah. Oh, we're so cute. Yeah. You need to come live with us. I know. Now I need to live with us. I'm like, yeah. Jordan. As soon as you get a new house, just come over. Today's like, here's yeah. today's at mine. It's your custody. <laughs> um, yeah, I was there. And then we launched the hair company. And then I became the shipping manager. And I did that alone for a long time. Three years, yeah. I think. I just started we started shipping out of my parents' house. Yeah. I would go there in the mornings. I would go ship, go to the post office, oh. then come into the salon. It was crazy. And then we got the second salon. It got busier. Yeah. And then it just evolved to... You know, where we are now. Yeah, now we have a warehouse. It's crazy. So now what's your role? With the, I mean, I know this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard when people ask me this question. It's a loaded question. Because I really don't have, like, a specific thing. I guess my more specific thing is the shipping manager. Yeah. That's how I started, and I still run that and everything. And then I help with customer service. Here, and I'm on customer service. Um, I deal with any, like, disputes, like, fraud department type stuff. And just like whatever Kira needs help with, I jump in and kind of vice versa. When I'm not here, Kira has to do my job sometimes and yeah. 
I do hers. So it's kind of like a little bit of everything. We just jump in when we're needed. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's hard to, it that's, is. I mean, that's the thing is like in a role like that, that is your role is to help yeah. when needed, but there's a lot of, it's like role. you have to be a chameleon. Yeah. We're chameleons. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's, actually, yeah. <laughs> that's a good way to put it actually. Yeah. actually so. Right here. Do you want to yes. tell your journey with us? Yes. So I was working at the bakery. Shout out to my bakery. <laughs> I was there for three years and I was doing school full time and I was just so burnt out. I ended up in the hospital actually. And I was at lunch, Jessica, and I'm just like crying. I'm like, I love my job. I love school. Like, I don't know what to do, but like, I am like, I, I don't know if I can continue. And she was just like, come work for me. And I was only like, six months into GC. Yeah. Like, it was like, I was like, probably didn't need the help, but I was like, no. I was like, I will do whatever you want, you know? And like, I was talking to Michelle, and he's like, we can have you start doing these things, like, start helping with this. And I had a business management internship. I did a, yeah um, internship for two years traveling the country. So I kind of have like the business knowledge where I was like, if, if I can, like, let me work for you, and like, I promise I can, like, but I, also I have you were hesitant. Oh, I was Because I had to beg you. Yeah, I remember. So, because, like, I could not fathom was... leaving my job and quitting school. Like, to me, that was just, like... That's a true work ethic. Yeah, like, I just couldn't fathom. Did you have to try to do school at the same time? No, didn't I quit both of them right at the same time, because it was... It was like, I have to. I literally, like, I couldn't... You're an all or nothing. Yeah. Like, it's this or yeah. this. Yeah, like, I was, like, I, I, I can't half-ass it, and I just, I knew it wouldn't work, so... I started working for you. I was at 21. It's been like seven years, I'd say. Yeah. And it just went from the first salon, the second salon, the third salon. And it's been a wild ride. Yeah. But I I am so grateful for you and I'm so proud of you. And it's incredible that we can all be here. Like, mm -hmm. it's a lot working with your family. I'm not going to lie. I don't recommend it. Yeah. But the fact that we can do it and it works is incredible. We had this talk, all three of us, like a couple months ago. Um, when we were kind of like, what Kira's been going through has brought us all really close. And we were like, we never just have family time. Like never. family time is usually business or we're at dinner and it gets brought up. Like there is no like time that I can think of that we just all hang out as a family and business never. doesn't get brought up. Even yeah. like Christmas, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, it would like, Thanksgiving all be little, Black Friday. Yeah. And yeah. we'd all be in our little corner, like talking about yes. stuff and everything. And then I'd be like, oh, but like a whole family's here. Oh, and yeah. Like they're probably like, they hate us. Like, yeah. No, for uh, real. No, and that's how it was every single time. And the first time, probably years, where we, we had a conversation and business wasn't involved for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. even an hour, it was, was nice. after every, like we all, after everything went down, we were at your house for a couple hours and we just all sat around. And fun. like, we were crying together, we were laughing together. Like, we actually had family time that we haven't had in a long time. We ended up that night pulling Kira's nose ring right out, and it, that it was stuck in her nose. Oh! And me and Bailey were doing it. Do so you not have it in it anymore? No, I, a while. I never yeah. thought I would take out my septum piercing. Never. Like, never. Yeah. Like, I was in my grave, I'm wearing my septum piercing. Yeah. And I'm like, it's so like 2 a.m., and I'm like, falling on Jessica's bed. And like, all of a sudden, like, Tom, I'm like, okay, guys, like, this is not time to bring it up. Like, I don't even know if I can go to bed. Like, my nose been in pain for like 12 hours. She put hours. a spring in that was too small. Yeah. 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 And so, like, it was like, it, it we all went to her nose. Her nose grew around it. Oh, no. yeah. So we're in my bathroom. I have tweezers. Bailey has a light. I'm like trying to dig it out. Jordan comes in. Mm -hmm. He puts gloves like, on. We're doing like pliers. We should have had the camera out. No, no, I I like, we were like laughing and crying. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm yeah. really like, like what, what a day. What a way to end the day. Yeah. Like, it was just wild. And I'm like, okay. Now we need to do surgery. Yeah, it, we almost went to the emergency. Yeah, well, I yeah. we have to. I was like, I it's am in surgery. I'm like crying in so yeah. much pain. It was so bad. Yeah, and finally we got it out. Jessica just got it. I was like, <sighs> yeah, she was like, one more time until yeah. like we're gonna have to do yeah. something. It yeah. was insane, but that was like a bonding experience. It's like we really haven't had that in so long. And so yeah. if you work with family, you know that like, it, especially if it's like a family business you guys started, like yeah. it encompasses your whole life. Yeah, yeah. it's hard. It it's really is. We haven't had a family vacation in eight years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Like we've been on work trips together, yeah. but never all at the same time. It was either one of you or yeah. the other. And then, yeah, we haven't done that in so many years. Like we need to actually like make time for it. No, but I now don't. I have kids. You guys have dogs. It's just hard. You know, Do you guys, you guys, guys have dogs too? Cause I know that you guys like kind of don't to travel. Like to travel. Well, we need to start getting out there and like, you travel a little more. I like travel a little bit more. I do struggle with it because mm -hmm. I just, I hate leaving my comfort zone. Yeah, like you do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we need to do not as much as I didn't have like as far to have the time traveling, but it does get to you because we were traveling like once or twice yeah. a month. Yeah, we know. Yeah, and so like I think I just got like burnt out, and I was like, hey, I can't do this anymore because yeah. then I would come back and I would have to catch up on work. And it could, that's the hard thing. It kind of was just on the other has to take yeah. over. Yeah, and it, it just wasn't making sense. It anymore. wasn't working for us anymore. Yeah. But I think if. 
like we all came together and we took a family trip like i think we really do need that we do yeah jordan keeps trying <laughs> but we just need to like make it make sense for everyone yeah. and that be the right destination too because yeah. like it can't be next it has to cabin. be like a cabin it does it <sighs> yeah, you can bring your dogs like it has to be the right setting so if i don't make it just... happen and we'll vlog that I agree. did i miss something on that question uh what do you do now i guess oh okay i was like i don't feel like i finished um, I do, I feel like a lot, like Bailey says, like, I think that's why our titles are like head of operations because it's not just one thing, but I do all our ordering. So I order, order all our hair, all our products. I develop the products. I help design the products. I help design the website. I schedule like the photo shoots and everything like that. I help our account. I was doing the taxes by mm -hmm. myself for a few years. Ooh, but yeah. yeah, it was a lot. And I, I don't have experience with that, but I love math. And like, I always, too. yeah, I like use it up here. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that. No, no, I love being yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, I really enjoy doing that, and I'm, like, so grateful because I've learned so much that, like, not that I'm, this is ever not going to be this, but I'm, like, I literally have, like, a resume that, like, I usually yeah. have to have for school, you know? Like, yeah. obviously, you need a degree, but I've learned so much, and now I help Sunday, who is our accountant now, do the taxes. So, I'll do, like, the books. I'll do, like, our inventory numbers, running reports, like, on a weekly basis. Where are we at? What's the growth? What do we need to order? Stuff like that. I mean... Designing the salon, that's yeah, really fun. Whole office, if I could yeah. design anything, like there are fun parts of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like being able to design the new salon area has like been like what I want to do. So yeah. Really can we just redo it every two years? You're no, like, come on. I'm <laughs> already like I'm planning like 2026. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're gonna do a revamp every four years yeah. actually. Sorry, Michelle. Can you imagine? So funny. Michelle would live. Oh, oh I would love that. No, he so yeah, it's, so and the same with Kira. Like she just does a little bit of everything. Yeah. Too, and so again, if Bailey's gone, I'll help her. Yeah. Just kind of day to day what needs to be done. And I'm just grateful because I feel like in the beginning, it was obviously like me and my dad. And then as we grew, you know, you guys came on. Now my mom's here and my dad retired. Now we all work here full time. And without my family, I couldn't have what I have. Like my sisters literally run the shit. Like I say that all the time. Um, and especially now that I have kids and now we open the school and there's like other things I'm doing too. Like it's so nice to just know that like, you know, like they always say when you open your own business, no one's ever going to care as much as you do. Mm -hmm. And since we're all family and like we all did this together, like we all care so much. And it's so nice to know that like, if I do have to like be on with my kids or I have something else going on, I can just trust it to run. And like, you guys know more than I do at this point. Like you guys just, it's like your thing. And I just love that. So I'm really grateful. Well, we are, we are grateful for you. We <laughs> have you. And there is no denying that this does not exist without you. Yeah, but it, I mean, yes, but also, like, it's a group effort to be it is. at today. Yeah, so. our whole family, we play such important roles that yeah. I, there's just, like, no way we could be to this level. We each have a different strength. Yes. Yeah. And I think we're so lucky because it all works together hand in hand. You're a well-oiled machine. Thank you. It's taken a while to get there. <laughs> we tried. It's been ups and downs, but I feel like we're finally at a place where, like, there's always going to be hard things in business, but, like, we're just running. Like, mm -hmm. it's good. Like, we know what we're doing. Like, it's great. Okay, so I'm going to start asking some of the questions, um, and then you guys can both just, like, answer how you feel. So someone said, how are you all the same, and how are you all different? I thought this was a good one. Oh, okay. Well, if you're listening, you're probably having a hard time talking <laughs> yeah. to so Our races. We talk really fast, and we yes. sound alike, so yes. I apologize. So <laughs> We used to trick people back in the day. Yeah, like, oh, we just kind of used to, like, we went on, like, a double date once yeah. where I pretended to be her actual twin, yeah. and I'm, like, 16. You were 15. Oh, I was, like, 15, <laughs> 16, and I full-on was, like, I'm in college, I'm 18. We're both 18. We Is went there to, like, a four-year difference between? Three. Three. We're all we're exactly all three. Oh, so I'm 31, yeah. you're 28, Yeah, and you're 25. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to think about that. Yeah. Good, no, no, we said this today. You forget how old you are. The yeah. You get. No, I woke up today and I was like, am I 27, 28, or 29? Wow. Really happy. Yeah. About it. And you're right between them too because you're 26, 26, right? So that's yeah. crazy. Wow. Oh. Your seven yeah. twins about to come. I know. Ooh. They always say twenty-seven many is many when you stuff. like you have a big like your first life crisis. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So get ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I feel like I've had ten life crises already. No, yeah. Right. I think you're like fifty. Yeah. Are you twenty-seven when you got divorced? And so yeah, is sitting with me. Yeah. Well, not Sorry. already, but like, oh, it's, it's, I mean, I think it's obvious. Yeah. Um, but when it started, like where I was like, it's like, you know, like, is this going to work? It's not going to work. It's the magical year. You were 27 yeah. too, Jess? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was 27 when I got divorced. 
they say that knock on yeah. wood or like the wood, wood, yeah. 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 Like, where's the wood in here yeah then you will break up yeah that's yeah. where like the 27 club comes with like you know like all the celebrities that die at 27 oh, and it's, it's also dark. like why you have like your quarter life crisis and you go through another sad return when you're like 50 and that's your midlife okay yeah. we might need to talk about this later yeah I don't know what's one year from now i don't see hardly anything my friend laurel has taught me everything and i actually if i'm not using the correct terminology like yeah. It's not my fault. <laughs> like, sorry. I yeah, I could be. I didn't do it. Yeah. Right? yeah, you should have Laurel on because she, she knows Ooh, all. That's a good idea. Yeah. No, okay, you she honestly should. should. So she's she's taught me everything. She's like, yeah, you're 27. Of course you're. Like this makes sense. Duh. Duh. How did you not know this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So we're all the same. We talk yeah. the same. We talk the same. I feel like our personalities are different, but the same. Yeah. Like we're cut from the same cloth, but we all have different patterns. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 And I feel like we all don't look alike, but like at the same time we do in a way. Yeah. Like I feel like we look alike and like you and me can look alike. Yeah. We looked more like we I look alike. agree yes. with that. Uh huh. You yeah. and Kira look alike and then, and then you guys look alike. Kira's in the middle. Bailey and Jess never yeah. look alike. Like we can, I yeah. can like all like kind of morph. Yeah. yeah. So when I had blonde hair, she had. Like we, literally, I had this color. She had this color yes. a couple years yeah. ago, and people always thought we were. Like, they were like, "Wait, yeah, what were we?" Yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever had the same color at the same time, like both dark or both dark? I think we were both dark at once. Okay. I think I think we were. Oh yeah, my wedding trip. My wedding. You were oh, more dark yes, than my wedding. Yes, dark. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah, that yeah, picture, I'll put on the yeah. side. It's crazy because you guys look a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys have the perfect hair right now because you're dark, dark. You're yeah. light, light, and then you're like all in the dark. We're never changing our hair again. No. Never. Ever. <laughs> never. <laughs> I can't for a long time. So yeah. I'm good. <laughs> you literally. It's never. Never harsh though having three different like, yeah, variations. So yeah. Um, okay. How are we all different? Do you think? Well, was that the question I answered? Oh, I guess so. Like, okay. So how? Or I guess we. No, I guess like. How different, like you said, we're all the same, we're all different, but I guess you kind of answered that. But like, I was just kind of thinking, is there anything else that stands out? You guys all have different passions, I feel like. Yes. Yeah. I think we're all very different. Like, what yeah. we want to do with our lives, our passions. Yeah. Our music taste is kind of the same, but different in a way. Like, we, we share some, you guys share some. Yeah. I, I'm just going to, like, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. And, like, and also yeah. for, like, TV shows, like, we're obsessed with reality. Yes. 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 We'll talk about yeah. like, it. Yeah. Like, Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. watching Manor Club right now, so like we can get yes. into that. Yes, we talk about work too. Yeah, rewatching. I'm rewatching oh, it. Yeah, yes. the news we're going to do a, a oh. finale or like a watch party on the yeah. Oh, we have to. Yeah. And, and then we're going to And then she watching. got me Ariana's cocktail book. Yeah. Oh, so every episode we should make a cocktail okay. book. Okay, yes. so is the cocktail, is it a book with cocktails yeah. mixed into it? Yeah. Well, it's like every cocktail is a story. Oh. So she'll name this one like okay, Ever After. That's not one, but like Ever After, and then it tells the story of this cocktail and it reminds her of her ex. It's good. Okay. I read it before I gave it to you because I was like, how you? I just wrote it down on my list. To read it's it. so good. So, yeah. Sorry, we're kind of just like. No, yeah. Sorry, sorry yeah. yeah. We all have yeah. better things, but then we're all different. Like, we're, all, yeah. we're all a good mix of each other. Yeah, I think yeah. it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys kind of answered this, but maybe you can go deeper into it. But what did either of you do before working here? Like your job history. Give us your resume. I worked at Switch. <laughs> Like seats, seats, never forget. Seats. I was obsessed with that place. <laughs> Don't you have a tattoo? I did. She you did. did. She yeah. literally tattooed I was so swig, dumb. swig and sweep on her body. <laughs> yeah. So the next time that you look at Kate, we're all getting a wishbone. Just remember that Amy's tattooed yeah. swig on her body. It's fine. I was 18 and I was not sober. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that needs to be said. That's all that needs to be said. I remember. And now she has a beautiful cover up. I have a cover up. So it's fine. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So it's swig and then. Did you work at Amy's? Oh yeah, so I worked at Swig, and then I worked at a sandwich shop for like three months. You did? Yeah. Which which? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I worked there when I worked at Swig. I had both yeah. of those jobs at the same time, and then I worked at a call center, and I hated it. Yeah. So that's when I started working here. Yeah. Okay, so you really not like you mainly worked here your working life. Yeah, because I was at Swig for three years. That's crazy. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Because you were so young, you were eighteen. Like yeah. you only had high school jobs. Yeah. yeah. So were you just out of high school when you started working here? No, so I got my GED at 16. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I worked at like age wise, yes. Oh, age wise, yes, I guess. Okay, I would yeah. be. Yeah, okay. Bailey's done with high school. Like, so yeah, me and Bailey are high school dropouts. That's how we're similar. And too. look at us now, guys. Yeah, I, that's my biggest flex. I didn't graduate high school, and look at us now. <laughs> but GED is pretty much. And like, it you is. have to test out, you have to be yeah. pretty smart. Yeah. It's hard to take that test. It's like it a is. four hour test, so it's like a flex. It's like, hey, yeah. I test it out. Yeah. I've learned about myself because I'm selectively smart when I want to be. Yeah. I can choose. I'm dumb as rocks in certain areas. But for the GED, I did not study until 
an hour before the test, and I finished it in 45 minutes and passed. Oh, same. Yeah, wow. same. We're, we're the same it's that really way. Yeah. It's the easiest. Well, it's like it's, it's hard, hard, but it's the easiest. But it's like if you just apply yourself sense. and you want it, you can do it. Yeah. Right? Anything you want, you can make happen. Yeah. Um, okay, your job history is more extensive. Okay. And I probably forget some things. Um, I worked at Sliders. Yes. I worked at, and you were the manager there. The assistant manager. Oh, assistant. Yeah. But that was at what, 16 years old? At yeah, time, yeah, so. yeah. Um, I worked at another little bakery for a while. Yes. I worked at Integra Core. Yeah. I worked, at, I worked there with her. Oh, yeah. Oh, you worked yeah. Yes. We worked together. Yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's basically like a shipping company, so like we would oh, ship out Doteros. Oh, oh gosh. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was a receptionist there for a while, too. Um, and then I worked at the bakery. Oh, wait, before the bakery, yeah. I, I lived in You forgot your two years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did a business management internship for Del Sol and Cara Del Ha, and I lived in Florida, California, and Puerto Rico. Which is crazy, because she, like, doesn't travel now. And I used to, to travel, travel so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I, I think I got to my work. I was, like, so unhappy when I would travel, because I was, like, so worked out. I, I can't even talk around her, because she's, like, a completely different oh, story. Yeah. But it, it, but I get it. Because it's I not get, for everyone. I told Jordan, do not talk to me about traveling until May. Yeah. Unless it's outside of work. Which is a do big it. deal for you. It is. I'm like, yeah. and I know he's going to try. You already oh, said Italy I, today. I know yeah. for a fact. Oh. I mean, we were planning a New York trip last night. Yeah. I was literally in our kitchen. Yeah. I was talking about New York. And I'm like, Jessica, are you, you kidding cannot me? travel right now. Yeah. Like, and she's like, no, this is for literally the exact date. Well, it's for May. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, once they hits, I'm good. Yeah. Completely. She already has the flight booked it's for so when she can start traveling, yes. but it won't be until May. But by May, I'll be ready. Yeah. You know? Because I also still have classes every month. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, you're still going somewhere. Yeah. Just but, yeah. Personal travel, I'm over it. Yeah. Until now, May. <laughs> okay, so you did that. And then I worked at the bakery. Yeah. Harmon's and, bakery. Yeah, Harmon's bakery. Shout out. Best bakery on the planet. Harmon's is great. Literally obsessed. And now I'm here. Amazing. Yeah. And you've been, so now both of you have been here, is it six or seven years? I've been here for seven, seven years. Because it's eight years of Jay-Z this and year. And I don't six or seven. Probably close Mine's to seven. coming up on seven. Yeah. Years. Oh, yeah. 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 So crazy. Okay. Wait, um, did you have a job during high school? So my first job ever was with Nat. Nat was my boss. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I worked with Nat at mm-hmm. Dimitri's. Yeah. I used to bring that up, and then I like started feeling like, is that like weird? Yeah. Like, and I, I didn't want her to feel bad. Yeah. She's like, oh, great. Bring it up. And you're my <laughs> boss now. So that's my parents that. make you guys have jobs. Oh, yes. Oh, so that's yeah. what it was all about. Like, I remember my yeah. dad, the like, day after I turned 16, woke me up. He's like, we're going to apply for jobs. Yeah. So you can drop off my resume in so many places. So I worked at a pizza place. It was Dimitri's. That Nat was my boss. And then, um, uh, I worked at a water park. Oh. Which one was it? It was up north. I can't remember the name, but I worked at a water park. Cowabunga Bay? No, it was before <laughs> then. I'm old. Uh, it, it doesn't exist anymore, oh, but it was okay. like up there. And then I... What did I do after that? I, I had a lot of like little yeah, jobs. Yeah, just like little jobs. Oh, I worked at a tennis club oh, for yes, a long time. Yeah. And then I worked at... And then I went That's to a hair school. Then I worked at Sally's Beauty Supply. I worked at Peerless Beauty Supply. Um, you were a nanny. I was a nanny for a little, oh, that was, like, that was my career career. part time. Yeah. I was a nanny for like five, six years. Yeah. So that prepped me for my children for sure. That was a good experience. But yeah, I've had a lot of different jobs. Um, okay. Um, you guys keep, I have to pee. Oh, okay. My ball last round. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Do they ever want to be in the beauty industry? No. Uh, yeah, no. people ask us that all the time. And, and I, 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 I do not have the skill or talent to even remotely consider it. Yeah. Like, normally I would be like, no, you probably could. But no, one I, time we did a YouTube yeah. video where each of them tried to do, like, a highlight. Like, I, like, taught them. And Bailey actually did really good. Yes. Kira could not get Kira it. Kira like, She was like, what? Is I, I, yeah, I, I, I can... I am more like the book side. Like, yes. yeah. I can tell you what to do. So, like, if people come to the retail room, I'm at a class. I'm I at a show. A lot. People think I'm a hairstylist because I'm like, I can tell you what formula to use, what shade. You could probably break down our method. Yeah. And I, I, I literally speak like I'm a hairstylist, yeah. but physically showing you, I would just butcher it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's funny. I feel but like I could do it. I don't want to do it, but I feel like if I was forced into do it, I yeah. could. Held in that activity you too. gives them a highlight. Like, like, yeah. No, you guys are actual chemists, and I, I think that... I think that we're, like, it's, like, left brain, right brain. Yes, yeah, like, yeah, it's, like, what side of the brain are you using, but you guys are chemists. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it, I don't think people understand, like, when they think people doing hair, they don't think it's that hard. It's not brain It's hair, a it's like, lot of pressure to put on you guys, and you guys are literally in the back, and you're, like, putting formulas together to hope that this color turns out. Like, yeah. it's pretty intense. I know. I tell the girls when they start, or the students at school, I'm, like... No, you think that, you know, hair school's going to be fun and easy, and it yeah. is, but at the same time, like, you're learning the bones of the body, electricity, the muscles, 
there's so much chemistry that goes yeah. into it. It's not good. Um, okay, the next one is if you guys weren't working at Jay Z, what would you be doing? I would like to think I would be doing something with anthropology, mm -hmm. or I'd probably still be at the bakery. <laughs> Curious, I'd be running the world yeah. with the bakery. Yeah. Um, you were going into anthropology, right? Yeah, so I was minoring in anthropology and I did for two years before I quit school. And I, any chance I could, I took like five anthropology classes and I just became in love. It's the culture anthropology, but I became in love with like field work and culture. So when we went to Africa, oh, yeah. I got to do field work for like two weeks and it was like, we had like this ceremony with like, I'm, I'm going to use the correct incorrect terminology but like he had to be like the king of the tribe okay, okay. yeah and so it's like this he was the king yeah, he was exactly. the king. yeah. yeah. Okay. and they're like i don't even know to say what i drink and <laughs> we're like with we're like doing like a medical mission so yeah. like we're like with doctors and nurses well, we went together mm -hmm. yeah. we all went together and i like i was just like i'm going to because that's what field work is like literally participating in everything and so i'm like i'm gonna participate in everything so i ran their 5k their 5k is not a 5k they just call it a 5K. It was like almost six miles. Whoa. But I was like, I was so determined. I was like, I'm participating in anything I can. So like everyone else is on the bus and I'm like running all over yeah, barefoot yeah. besides me. And I'm just like, they're like literally like jogging and I'm like out of breath. And they're like, you got this, keep going, Aww. keep going. And then we had this ceremony where they passed around. It was definitely alcoholic, but yeah. like now they It was some sort of about it. It was a ceremony. They're but they're good yeah. And For I, sure. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I no, was no, say, you just start like, tripping. It's a ceremonial drink that everyone in the whole room has to drink, and no one in the medical mission participated. And when it got to me, I just take this full big swig, like, and the whole so, tribe was like, ah, because I was like the only one that participated. Like, yeah, watching. yeah. So it was. I just, I, I love different cultures. Yeah. I love getting to know new people and like really trying to understand where they come from and like why they think the way they think. Well, and I think especially growing up in Utah, we live in a bubble. Like there's yes. one religion here and that's all you know. And that's okay. But I think going out and experiencing life yes. and other religions and cultures and respecting that, yes. even if it's not for you, like just respecting that other people live different ways is so cool. I think it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I think, I think everyone should know those things. I agree. Okay, Bailey, what about you? Oh, um, <laughs> Probably be dying that way. Yeah, but I always Whatever. did want to be a therapist. Oh, I love yeah. that. I I can yeah. see that with you. Yeah, I love helping people, and I think I went up through a lot at a young age. Yes. So I kind of got like wisdom at a young age. Mm -hmm. But I always just was like, I love helping people. Like when my friends in high school, junior high, were going through something hard, I would go be the first one at their house at two a.m. if they were crying and like talk them through it. And I just I loved being able to help people and being like, you know what, you're gonna get through this. Like, this is not the end, and, you have and you're gonna be okay. Like, you can yeah. feel people's emotions. Both yeah. of you are like that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, I was gonna be that. I, I love that. I could totally see that for you. Same. I love that. Okay, this next one is from Rachel, who used to work for us. Stop. Shout out, Rachel. Shout out. Shout out. It's the funny question. She said, who's the meanest? Ha 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 ha. Oh my God. <laughs> I think, I think all of us, depending on the situation, we can all be a bitch. Yeah, a lot of times. I think yes. we're all mean to mom. <laughs> and like at different points yeah. in the day. We do mean to mom. mom. She's just an easy target. It is true. Like that's just like, daughter it's just and mom how it stuff. is. Like, yeah. And what did you say, Kaylee? Because you're not, you're from the outside. Oof. I She's like, like uh, like, 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 I don't know that I would say that any of you guys are mean. I think I'm most scared of Kira though. I was gonna say <laughs> She's that. But I, I tell think, people I'm scared Kira's gonna fire me. Like, but I'm like, not Kira really, is like, like the it. scariest, most intimidating person that I know, but also like one of the nicest people that yeah. I know. I don't know how no, they work together, but I'm like terrified. I, just, I know it. I get this a lot, yeah. but I've never yelled at someone. No, else no. Here. I, you know what it is? It's because I think people have so much respect yeah. for you that they don't mm -hmm. want to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. And when you're like, when you're like. Not mad at someone, but when you have to have a hard conversation as an employer, yeah, it, you you yeah. give off the like I'm disappointed, and that's worse than yeah. being mad. It's intimidating. It's intimidating yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah. but in a great way because you also can make them feel very accepted and loved. Like you have such a good balance, and that's really hard to find. Well, I appreciate it. Jess. I would not want to get into a fight with. <laughs> no. She's terrifying <laughs> when she gets fired up. You see me like a handful of times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, but it takes me a while to get there. Like. I like kind of just let it slide for a long time and then I'll get to a point yeah. where I'm like this. Well, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. You're yeah. so nice that like you'll bottle it. And we probably all do like where we bottle it up, bottle it up, bottle it up. And then it's just going to be that sound that makes a snap. And it's like, yeah. okay, I can no longer not stand up for myself. For and that's my biggest, another big goal I have for this year is to work on that and just be a little more well-rounded instead of like just letting things go until I get to that yeah. point. Cause like then I just react. Yeah. So yeah. Um, okay. I love that. 
Um, with three girls, do you ever fight or have jealousy since Jessie's the main person in the company? <laughs> <laughs> but like, we hate her. I would say, I, don't, I won't speak for all of us, but I don't think any of us are jealous of each other. No. I think we are all exactly in the role that we want to be in. Jessica literally grew up like m forcing us to watch her like do plays and like I would make Kira be my boyfriend. And go oh, I was I was always the side. So yeah. like I was her boyfriend. The side. I was meant to <laughs> side twin. The spotlight. I was yeah. She was meant for the spotlight. I was absolutely not meant for the spotlight. And yeah. so there is like only like I applaud you. I w could never do that. I think you could because you have a TikTok following now. You, I think you underestimate yourself. But she's not like talking not in front of no. the camera. It's not no, like whenever I talk, I look back and I'm like, that's so cringe. Yeah. <laughs> I have a really hard time with like talking to the camera. Yeah. So this is yeah. really big for you. No, I'm like panicking. Oh no. <laughs> we both were right. like, yeah. Uh, this thing <laughs> was, I was like, can we, can we have a drink? With yeah. You? I, so we, we have an idea to do a like drunk podcast. We think it would be really fun, but I was like, that can't be the first one. No, we get to no, know you guys yeah. first. It but next time we will, and okay. then you'll be that will be fast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, did you answer, or what was that question again? What was the question? Well, oh, um, do we ever get jealous? Yeah. But oh no, not yeah. at all. I think I'm we're all really like, good about it. I like being in the back corner. Yeah, yeah. like jumping in when I have to, but I could never do what you do. Go to classes and like yeah. just yeah. be on the front lines. I could never do that, and vice versa. I could never do math, and I could never <laughs> like do the customer service stuff like that. I mean, I like I think that if you've ordered from Jay Z or dealt with us, you know that we do have great customer service service, and it's all because of Bailey and like the expectation you have for anyone that helps you. And it takes a lot to be that patient. That's probably why you're going to be a good, or why you'd be a good therapist. Just I agree. have to be patient yeah. and you know, understanding. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're both like that, but I feel like we're all good about like uplifting each other in where you belong. Like yeah. my sisters are great because every time we do a post, like, you're in the middle. Like they like, they're like, you know, Jesse, yeah. it's you. And I would never want to, like, I'm not the type to be like, I'm in the middle. Yeah, it's like, really hard for you to do that. Yeah. I don't think this dynamic would work if we were jealous. If we were yes. jealous, like, I don't think we would have lasted seven mm -hmm. years. There's none of you guys, like, I guess sometimes there's always that one sister where you're like, oh, she's a bitch. <laughs> like, but, like, none of you guys are like that. Like, you no. guys are all, like, really genuine people, but yeah. that doesn't come around very often. I'm saying Kate Lucille. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> well, I, I will say I am jealous sometimes of your guys' role because I kind of wish sometimes I could be in the background. Yes. Sometimes it is a lot what I do, and there are times where I'm like, I wish I could just, like, have a desk job like I have an office now and it's so great but that's still not like my full-time thing yeah. you don't so, have a desk job I, I don't, don't. Like, I don't. Yeah, look, I have a desk job really. yeah, like, I have to edit sometimes but it's not my main thing and so sometimes I get yeah. jealous of that but not in a way that I'm like you, 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 would, you would never feel fulfilled in our position no. it's just like we no. don't in yours 100% and that's why it works um okay let's see what was it like growing up <laughs> wow that's a good one I think we know. probably all had a little different, I mean, yeah. we all were raised in the same household, but, like, yeah. I feel like you get a different version of your parents with each dip totally. that they have. Like, Bailey always jokes, like, she's like, I got nothing. I got the wrong of the dip. <laughs> I did. <laughs> like, she's like, yeah. have I been to Disneyland? Yeah. I don't know. Like, like, I feel like we all blocked out a lot, which, yeah. trauma, for sure. I don't, sure. I don't know why I haven't really, I don't want to delve into that quite yet. I don't mind that quite yet, but I don't remember a lot of my childhood. Yeah, here I have a memory problem. I do. do. Um, it's fine. I mean, I I think that it was so fun having two sisters. Yeah. I think you and me, probably because I was a little bit older and Bailey was like, you guys were six years apart and yeah. six years apart isn't a big deal now. But when you're growing up, six years apart is a big deal. Yeah. And so I think me and Jessica were a lot closer just because I was working, you know, for friends. And you like, were always older for your age. I was yeah. always older with my age. Like, I did not get along with people my age. And so it was just like, what are your friends doing? Or like, what are my mom's friends doing? Like, I've been like <laughs> best friends with my mom's friends. That's true. Yeah. So I've just like always gone more older. And so I think me and Jessica, like, we were like Mary Kay and Ashley, honestly. Yeah, we called each other that. Yeah. So like, we had the same music case. We borrowed each other's clothes. You would hang out with my friends. I hang out with your friends. friends. Like, yeah. So yeah. I think that's like my memory. And then like obviously Bailey was there, but she just like was a little bit younger. <laughs> she was there. I was the only stepsister. But I think like, we're a little about, Yeah. Well, yeah, and I feel like yeah. there was a time when we were like meaner to Bailey. This is growing up. Like, yeah, you know, well, just because she's, she's the younger sister. And yes. so, like, since I stepped in your lane, I could have stepped backwards, but I just sure. didn't. Yeah. Um, I feel like you did have But now, I feel like that's different. Now, now we're all older. Like, now yeah. you guys have had a chance Bailey's to Bailey's like literally a part of my friend group now. Yeah, so, yeah, like, cool. it's cool that I, again, I've like got, got into more. Yes. But there was a time, like, when I moved out of state, you guys were closer. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, you guys were not on good terms. We were not here. We weren't talking. You guys were talking. I left that day day and I was like, this, this it was, was right before I got married the first time. Yeah. yeah. I was like 14. I, was I remember like calling. Was it my first husband? I don't think it was. Was it? I 
again, I blocked out a lot. Yeah. I think I, it, I, it, it, was, it was. It was. I could see that. It was. Okay. Okay. I would I not agree that. with some choices you were making. Yes. <laughs> you thought I was yeah. throwing my life away by getting married. You have a very, <laughs> very strong head. Yes. And we didn't talk for a while. Like, yeah, I, I, I mean, I moved out of state. Mm -hmm. I was gone for like a year and a half. And like, yeah. obviously, we like became good while I was gone. Yeah. Like, you can't really until I'm back. And then you came back and then it was fine. Like, yeah, I remember, yeah. like, what happened. Yeah, like, it was fine. No, we're just yeah. dramatic. I mean, I think all sisters. And every sister has been through that. Like, yeah. you stole oh, my clothes and, like, yeah. stupid fights and big fights. Yeah. But, yeah, me and Bay got really close yeah. to it. And yeah. I would go, we, we would hang out, out, and then I would call Kira and be like, Jess has changed. Yeah, I remember that. So much wow. Yeah, we yes. best friends again. Like, you yeah, always come back. Yeah, I was like, we're being the youngest sister. Like, yeah. like crying. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably like, you were probably like fifteen. Like, like fourteen. Yeah, like yeah. I had to deal with yeah. that. I was like, it's so she's she's gotten better. That's so. Fun. I wish I could remember the details, but that's fun. But what sister group has not? Like, yeah, we've all. I look back now and I don't even like. I seriously like block out. Like, I don't even think about that either. Like, I forgot about that. She said it. And I'm sure there were even bigger fights we're forgetting about. Oh, I, I know there are. Three okay. sisters is dramatic. Like, it is. My oh, dad, my your dad, honestly. And your dad is, like, is like, not. Like, he's like, he doesn't feel like emotions. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. He doesn't like that stuff. No. And it's funny because when I had a boy, I think that really healed a lot for him. Like, oh, I find the boy. In he's thriving. He loves Jagger. And when I thought I was having a boy the second time, me and Jordan always laugh because if you listen to the video when I popped the thing and it was a boy or the ball, you can hear dad just laughing at the oh, top of his lungs. <laughs> he was like, yes! Like, and then it was a girl, but it's fine. Um, but okay, that was a really good one. Um, Bae, do you have any input on growing up? Um, yeah, you guys were just really mean to we me. Were. <laughs> we were. We were. were. Like, you were. I'm so sorry. Well, that's how it is, though. Like, I was the youngest. Yeah, like, I was probably, like, five years old, and you're like, you are annoying. Like, if I look yeah. back, I'm I stop hanging out with us. Like, I, like, even yeah. more five, I'm like, go away. Like, I'm yeah. worried when Jagger gets older, like, I'm going to be really annoyed with him. Oh, I'm already getting to that. Yeah, like, so I'm like, I get it. And, like, you used to push me down the stairs. And, oh, like, my God. Oh, wow. There was one time. Yeah, physical. There was one time you pushed me down the stairs. And you were like, you're annoying me. Go away. Actually, you just, I like, pushed me down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then once no. I got into like, once I got older, things. like once I got into high school and stuff, it kind of was, there was a shift where yeah. Jess was getting older, she got married and here and I got really close. So we started hanging out all yeah. the time. Yeah. And then it's I all gone through like a rotation. I think yeah. it's normal. And then I lived with you and your ex-husband and yeah. like, we had alone time and we got closer. Yeah. And we got closer when she was moved out of state and stuff. We yeah. went to the One Direction movie all oh the time. Oh my gosh, we were two times. Had that, yeah. So that yeah. was like our thing. Yeah, was I feel like we all like miss school. I'm like, don't tell mom and dad. Yeah. You, can you can miss school. You call the school and be like, she's sick. She's sick. I'm like, hey, let's go see her. Sick. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like we all kind of like had that little. Yeah. yeah. And now that we're older, I feel like it helps that we all work together. Because usually your siblings, you go off in different directions. Like, yeah. We're lucky that we're all still together and now we're all just like living our lives and normal and we're close and it's just yeah. great now. Yeah. Like there's no like yeah. jealousy or like no, I not at all. Uh, and I am so excited to be new to Pleasant Grove. I, I feel like that's so awesome excited. help just because you have been so far. Yes, I yeah. have been. You're, you're, yeah. Too you're yeah. tucked back in there too. Yeah. 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 It's like they go up like come over to dinner. I'm like, well, I don't no. want to drive 30 minutes. No, we're not doing that. And now you're just there, so you have to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Now we don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah. but now we're going to literally be all five yeah. minutes. Yeah, and we can walk to each other's house. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be amazing. Okay, someone just said your energy is contagious, so thank you to whoever said that, because that's really nice. Um, someone says, who was the first one to initiate the vision of the business? I, I mean, you, like, yeah, exactly. Really yeah. But I feel like it's evolved into like a group effort. So like, yeah. I started the salon. My dad, like, it, I mean, everyone who has followed me kind of knows this. But like, my dad like funded it in a sense, and he was mm -hmm. like, "I will, you know, be a silent partner. I want nothing to do with this." Like, yeah. he did <laughs> not ever want to like be involved. And then it kind of like progressed. Then Kira came on, and Bailey came on, and then Mom had started helping out, and then Dad had no choice but to be involved. And then it just kind of like became what it is now. So I feel like it's just kind of like a group effort in that sense. But it, it started with like my passion for hair. I would yeah, say. Like it was now literally your career that's created this. Yeah, yeah, and now it's grown into what it is, which yeah. is really cool. But you guys are very involved when it comes to like oh, product, yeah. like yes. making of products yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. You guys like. Well, I feel like there are certain things involved in the business that like Bailey can probably be like, I did this and this yeah. is an idea. Yes. And, like, same with me. I'm like, we this would not exist without me. And like, yep. same with Jessica. Like, this would yeah. not be her without her. Yeah. You know, it's like. And now Kaylee. <laughs> yeah. This would not be her without Kaylee. I literally said to Kaylee, I'm like, so. 
you're probably gonna have another baby, and if that's the case, like, are you? She like got serious with me for a second in the office, and I was like, you can't. what's going on? I was like, are you like still interested in this in the future? Because like I like if you're not in, I'm not in. Like I, I told her that I'm like, if we move out of Utah, I won't work anymore. And he's like, why? And I'm like, because I would never be able to find this job anywhere yeah. else. That would be really, really hard. Me. So sorry, Riker. It it's off. I don't Yours know is off. I think off. ours is on though. Yeah, we're fine. So it's okay because then I can just use the yeah. lips. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I think we've all had a hand in it at one point. Um, okay, so someone said my sister is coming to assist me with everything. Do you have tips on how to work with sisters and how to not like separate? And then someone else just said, how do you separate the professional and the personal? So kind of the same question. We talked about this. It's hard. There's really not like a right answer. No. You kind of just it's like day to day. Yeah. Like every day is different. Really yeah. And I think time too. Oh. Like you have yeah. to just learn how mm -hmm. each other works and how the business runs. I don't know. I feel like we do a pretty good job. Yeah, I feel like we just lucked out. I feel like there are a lot of things that like, how did you do this? And we're like, we just woke up and did it. We're talking about, yeah. and that probably just is like where our work ethic comes through. Where it's like we just like there was no choice. Like this is going to work. This is all of our lives. This is all our careers. So like. For me, I think it actually fuels me because I'm like, I literally provide for my whole yes, family right yeah. now and I need this to work. We so don't have a choice. Yeah, all of yeah. us are like, we all are on the line now. Yeah. Like we're, we got to do it. I guess advice though would be like setting an intention with what you want the outcome to be and like also setting boundaries and just having that conversation of like, well, if you're going to be her boss today, she's assisting you. Like you kind of need to be like, I'm literally, like I, you know, I have friends that work here and I had to be like, I'm putting on my boss hat. Yes. Please do not get this confused with this other relationship we have because I don't want this to be effective. That's this the is thing. Yeah, it, it's really hard because you are, those boundaries are just going to be crossed. And so like just setting an intention and communicating of like, I'm going to do X, Y, Z and like, I, I don't have a choice and like, just please respect it. Yeah. And good employees and good friends will. Exactly. And I think that that's the big, like, key yep. to it you know so you know I definitely have friends where it hasn't worked out in the work environment and I think it's just a testament to like all of us that like it's never got to a point I hope at least where like anyone's wanted to quit like I can't do this anymore like maybe yeah. we're overwhelmed because like it's a yeah. lot but like it's never got to a point where one of us has gotten in a fight where it's been like oh I've never seriously considered not yeah. working here like that's it would again be. we're so fortunate that's never gotten that bad yeah. but I also think that we all know that we like, let's say that happened one day. We all, like, respect each other enough to know that that well, would be okay. Would, yeah. It would have, it would have yeah. to be, like, oh, yeah. my husband is moving. There's no choice. Got a job offer. It would yeah. have but to be all, something, but yeah. my husband's success for yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. But I would stay. My husband would just go. <laughs> well, your husband works here now, so. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how has that been, like, working with your husband? It's been good. I was really nervous at first, but he knows, like, oh, your job is more important than mine. If I come to your desk and, like, you're sitting there and you're, like, and you're in like, it, then I can't bother you. Yeah. And, like, we also have conversations. I'm like, if I'm a bitch to you at work, like, if I'm a little rude, like, like I'm so sorry, but, like, tell me if I hurt your feelings or anything. That's so good. Wow. Like, that is nice. Like, yeah. My favorite is, hard. is when, like, you'll, like, like we'll be doing something. Like, can you go make some water? Yeah. And so yeah. that's great. I love no, it. No, it's my favorite. I'm like... I wish I ate. like that's so nice. Yeah, but, like, I, I just like I'm not in here. I was like, please tell me if I'm taking advantage because it's just like so easy to have your husband right there. To, like, it is. Because right you would never say that to one of our warehouse workers. No, I'm like, hey, like, Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> you don't give me a letter. <laughs> Can you go to the gas station for me, really? Quick? <gasps> but it's just, yeah, it's really good, and in a way, it's brought us a little bit closer. Yeah. Which is crazy I think all of us have gone. Like, I feel like yeah. I know Vaughn better now. Like, obviously, he's been around for a long time, but yeah. like now we see him every day. He's so awesome. He has such a good work ethic. Like yes. anything that he gets thrown into, he will do it. Yeah. And like he, he loves to be busy. He's such a busy body. So like he's thriving here. He's doing great. We yeah. have like muscles, brains. Like yeah, he's been doing stuff at the school too. Yeah. He, awesome. he was there all day on Friday yeah. changing light oh, bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Go on. Yeah. That's so, yeah, yeah, great. Hopefully one day we don't get any try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would suck. That's you're like, okay, you you're fired. Sorry. But it, it's nice we have a cute little drive here with work. We bring our, cool we bring our puppy fox here, so it's like it's so like cute. Our little it really is a family yeah. business now. Yeah. It's, it's really and then my nice. sister in law works here. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Really, I forget that because she's like a stylist. It's a little yeah, it's different. different good, yeah. But yeah, it's it's crazy how no. Jordan will never work here. I'm just like I think I would go now. I would um, myself. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was like, like yes. enough said. When you said that he was going to maybe start working with accreditation stuff, I was like, oh, yeah. uh, I, yeah, I, I don't have to draw a line. I was yeah, like, I can try to help. And I'm like, yeah, and McKinley the other day was like, I had a dream that Jordan worked here after Ron started. And she's like, he just like walked into the warehouse and the stylist and like started telling everyone how to do their jobs. And she's like, please just never. And I'm like, but that's don't not worry. a dream. That's what would happen. <laughs> he does do that. He doesn't even 
yeah. more time will come in and be like, well, have you thought about this? I'm like, I appreciate it, but no. <laughs> yeah, I can say honest to his face, by the way, like he knows. But anyway, okay, so that was great. So maybe, um, do you guys want to wrap up with just, I mean, anything? I guess we talked about a lot. Yeah, but. I actually do. I just want to say thank you guys so much. I know I'm going through a hard time right now, and I know we kind of touched on it. And I just like, I want, you know, anyone that's listening just because I haven't really spoken to anyone about it, yeah. um, that it's it's a very mutual thing and I have nothing but love and respect and sometimes you just don't grow together and it's a really sad thing, but I'm excited for what the future holds for both of us and yeah, there's just nothing but love and respect and I just want to thank you guys for being here during this. I, it was really hard for me to like, ask you know, help. ask for help and like I think that's, I was unhappy for a long time because I just like couldn't fathom like we're so busy here that like that yeah, is the burden. I don't want to be a burden. Yeah. We don't have time to deal with anything, and so like I, I hit stuff for a long time, and like I, I'm actually so happy that I did open up to you guys. And you, I mean, I have an army. Like I, I'm just so grateful for you guys. Like thank you for letting me stay at your house. Thank you for letting me cry to you. Like at the end of the day, that's what's important. It is. Business can wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I just I'm so grateful for these opportunities and like for my dad, my mom. Like thank you. Like, I just, I, I can't even imagine what my life would look like if it wasn't here. That's so good. And I think we've talked about this, but we are so lucky that we're in this situation right now because we have the ability to all just drop everything and support yeah. each other in these moments. Exactly. And have that better job. Ability. You know, I, I, I really feel for people who don't get to just pause their life when life happens. And yes. I don't want to pause it by any means. I was definitely <laughs> yeah. But I, I am an opportunity where, like, you know, I am like, boss and yeah, so like you can do that if you need to yeah I have the way and we all are like take the day off like we do that yeah. to each other you yes. know like we encourage that and yeah just kind of echoing what you said like we also like as a family have love and respect for mm -hmm. the other person and mm -hmm. we will always feel that way there's like no hard feelings no bad blood and I think that you know life just happens sometimes and yeah. it's really sad but you're so strong and you're gonna be just fine and it's been a blessing in disguise as hard as it's yeah. been yeah I agree but yeah um, and amen. 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 That's your testimony. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm so proud of you, Kira. I really am. You are a true warrior, and you're always the helper, and you never ask for help, and I'm so proud of you for actually coming out and be like, no, I need help, and I need support. And it's so great that our family, I'm so grateful that we can work together and like be in that business mindset, but also we can drop everything if one of us is going through something and needs it. Yep. And we know how to separate that and we know how to be there for each other and I'm really grateful for that because like a lot of families can't go to their sister, no. can't go to their dad or their to talk parents, about something yeah. that they're going through, you know? So we we are very grateful and yeah. We're really I love you guys. guys. Great we've all just, yeah, we've all been through a lot together mm -hmm. and separately and we know how to lift each other back up. Yeah. And with that being said, next time will be the drug podcast. <laughs> um, but to finish the episode, I wanted to first say thank you guys for coming. Like I said, I would be lost without either of you. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Um, and now we're going to do, so me and Keely thought this would be a fun idea for our episodes to, at the end of each episode, do a vent session. So we got this vent deck and shout out to Randy because he sent me the idea. And it's basically like a deck and you draw a card and you just get to answer the question, but it's like a vent. Like you get to vent about it. So we're gonna call it Juicy with Jay-Z or something. Delve or... Deck, Venting Edition. Vent to your heart's content. Vent to your heart's content. Maybe that's what we'll call it. I love that. So um, I'll go first, I'll just grab a random card. Should we just all answer the same one? Oh, I guess we could do that, because that way we go through them less yeah. quick. Let's yeah. do that. Okay, if I can grab one. All right, which famous person gets a free pass from the public but shouldn't? Ooh, like they, oh. like they get away with more? Hmm. Oh, I'm not gonna be. I, don't, I don't really have any. But did anybody see like the Golden Globes? I, I've night? seen like foot, like little. It was like appalling. Wait, why? The guy that hosted it, he's some comedian. He made fun of Taylor Swift. I heard that. But he <laughs> made like multiple like terrible <laughs> jokes. But then people were booing him for it, and he came back and was like, "It was all my writer's fault." Well, don't well, call yourself a comedian and then say and then not write your writes material. all your own material. All your material. That's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. That's crazy. Sorry, but like that's just, who was it? His name was Joe Coy. I don't even know who that is. How did he get to host? Obviously, Probably because everyone else said no. Yeah. I don't know, but that was just my. I'll think of somebody better. That's a good one, but though. I like that. Oh. This is hard because hard I think one. we're living in cancel culture where like everyone has to be held accountable yeah. nowadays. So like it's kind of like no one gets a free pass. Yeah. But. And I hate cancel culture. I do too. I, I hate it. it. I think that we all make mistakes and we all should just be able to learn from them and move on. But. Um, hmm. 
You know what? This is like not really anything I'm super passionate about, but Doja Cat hates her fans. It's like a thing. What? Like she's always like, stop being so obsessed with me. And like, she'll like say things and like about her fans. Well, and I think that's you don't have a career. Yeah. Like I feel like someone like that, it's like, they are the reason you're here. So like, no, <laughs> you know, like, so someone like that probably who's just like, isn't grateful. I can't like so think of weird. a big example, but that sounds kind of weird. Can you guys think of anything? Here's like, I hate pop culture. Well, I, the only celebrities I know are like ones I love. Yeah. And so like, I, if I don't like them, I'm not even paying attention. True. So I just, I don't have an answer. You know what a good answer is? Tom Sandoval for a lot of years before Sandoval. Oh, I feel like he's always just kind of been. True. I've never liked him. him. Yes. But he, he is the he worst. Always seen as like so generous and so. No. Like, no. It's after the whole Sandoval thing, if you rewatch the scene. Oh, he's the worst. Yes. You look at with him, a different and lens. And he is, he's obsessed with himself. Yes. And okay. every time he says something, you know it's calculated. Yes. And he's always yep. like, I did this for you, and yes. I did that for you. And it's like, well, you're not doing anything selfish, yeah. selfless. Lissly, yeah. yeah. it's always like you're not holding. Like, hold it like paying for James's extent. proposal, it was like that was, wild. That was he weird. Himself. But he did it. So and I'm honestly, I'm like, maybe he was in. Love I think with he was also in love with Rihanna, yeah. but like very weird. So yeah, I think Tom, Tom Sandoval is a good answer. Karen needs to watch Vander. You really do. So I, I know you don't like reality, but I feel like you could get into it. Yeah, you're gonna have to. So. I feel like you could relate to Stassi. I love Stassi. She is probably my favorite. She's obsessed with like. Like yeah, she got engaged in a graveyard. Okay, yeah. Yes, I would like, would like, like a lot. Or, yeah, and she's blonde. Like she, yeah, I could. She's blonde. Stassi. She's, yeah. she's blonde. blonde. Likes graveyard. Sounds like me. Yeah, very now she gets a humor. Very like, dry. Yeah, yeah. But she has two kids now. Like, you know, but she, <laughs> she's not <laughs> your style. You know, I listen to her podcast. And I love her. She's a love her. I like her. All right, well, this was a really great episode. This is a long one, like an hour and 16 minutes so far. Oh, so that's wow. really great. Don't get us in a room. No, I would have a family in a room. We'll go Shout off. Ooh, I would love that. We should do a family oh, of this. Oh. You should do a family of this one. And we should all do a family feud, questions. and you're the host. Yes. yes. That would be so that would be fun. fun. Yeah. Okay, if anybody wants to listen. Because we've now had her, Michelle on the podcast, and you guys are not mom. So we need to get, no, I she did an episode once. But and we lost the yes. audio, so we can never. Oh, and we even have like video and pictures we took. Like we made yeah, mocktails. We made we mocktails we, with Mama. Yes. Like, okay. Okay. Mocktails. We'll do cocktails. She'll have her mocktails. Yes. Let's do it. Like That's the. Let's do it. Sam and you. No, let's 100% do it. Yes. And now that we Mom's a celebrity, people want to hear from her. So yeah. we do need to have okay, her. After this, let's get out. We'll plan it. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for listening or watching. We really appreciate you, and hopefully you got something out of this episode. It was so great to have you guys here. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. And, yeah, we'll have you back soon. Wait for the drum podcast. It's going to be great. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to Just Jay-Z Podcast. You can catch us once a week here on Apple or Spotify, and you can also watch us on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe.